Dove. As their friendship has grown, Cameron and Alan Cumming have bonded over their mutual interests in boys, politics, and camping. Before returning to the recording studio to complete an album, Cameron took a break to answer Cummings' questions about her bumpy journey from Disney blonde child actor to established pop singer. The two talked about meditation, Cameron's aspirations for a career that would rival any in the world, and why youngsters today simply aren't having enough sex. Cumming questioned Cameron about her arduous journey from Disney blonde child actor to full-fledged pop star. Cameron claimed that she had always wanted to be a musician, but by the time Boyfriend became successful, she had come to terms with the realization that it would probably never turn out the way she had imagined. The shift from music artist to music artist and the transfer from music artist to bisexual person are the two most crucial facts in this work. Becoming a bisexual person was a significant adjustment for Cameron because she had recently experienced a major breakup with a Scottish boy. She was so openly in love with guys that she had never even considered living a queer life. Cameron had to work frantically to learn how to make music while also touring to promote the CDs, which was the wrong way to go about it. Becoming a bisexual person was a significant adjustment for Cameron because she had recently experienced a major breakup with a Scottish boy. She was so openly in love with guys that she had never even considered living a queer life. With the release of Boyfriend, Cameron wrote the song Breakfast the following day. The pop girl in the Breakfast music video was seductive, but after Roe v. Wade, Cameron decided to make a more political statement. She wished to add to the story and give women the impression that their rights were upheld. Once Roe v. Wade was decided, she shot a seductive and pop girl music video for Breakfast, but she then decided to do something more political. She wished to add to the story and give women the impression that their rights were upheld. The most significant information in this text is that Dove Cameron is a genuine artist who chose to create her next piece of art as a sort of reckoning and protest against the lack of protests from the pop industry during Trump, as well as the fact that she is stitching her seeds and enjoying herself. While she is advocating more sex among young people, she feels that not everyone is engaging in enough of it. She also discusses her day's activities, what she eats, how she spends her time, and how her worry helps her sleep. Successful novelist Cameron has been able to have a cheerful outlook throughout his career. Health by spending time outside during the day, expressing one's creativity, and having a relaxing bath. He also practices meditation and has resumed working out with his virtual trainer. Every day, Cameron discovers that he has to leave the gym midway through because the chemicals from the workout fill his head with so many fresh ideas. He also discovers that due to the chemicals that the activity is giving him, he has to quit working out in the gym every day after around half an hour. Dove, Columbia Records and Cameron are producing an album. Since she has too many ideas, is taking a long time. She is fortunate to work with a producer and record label that don't influence her creative decisions. She and her managers have set a fictitious deadline for themselves to release the album this fall and embark on a little or significant tour in the beginning of the following year. The record is scheduled to be released this fall, and Cameron plans to embark on a small or significant tour at the beginning of the next year. Super duper pop singer Cameron is currently putting the finishing touches on an album and a tour. He plans to visit the United States, Latin America, the European Union, the United Kingdom, and some regions of Asia in order to strike a balance between the tour and the album. He also appears in Schmigadoon, which he found to be an entirely different experience than the first season. The first season's theme was 1950s Hollywood musicals, whereas the second season's theme was gloomy, strange, and shangly. The first season was exquisitely well-crafted and creative, and Cameron is pleased to have so many distinct narratives with so many different characters. 
The parallels between the two characters in the anthology are the most crucial facts in this narrative. Both Camion and Cumming are portraying characters who are similar to Sally Bowles. Camion was infatuated with Cabaret and Chicago from a young age and grew up loving them. Camion was an excellent choice for the part since he conveyed both feminine and masculine sensuality, power, and surrender. People react to Camion's look, rejoicing in its excitement rather than viewing it as something to be ashamed of. The shame of sex in America is being discussed by Cameron and Cumming. Cameron explains that his father taught him not to be ashamed of it and that there is nothing he can do about it. Cumming explains that they both fell in love with one other and that they both wonder aloud, oh my goodness, what's going to happen now, whenever they are together? In a week, Cameron and Cumming will get together for supper a sleepover, and a theatrical outing. For Pickles, Cam Euron and Cumming will also visit Juniors.